Ah. Oh. Hello, it's Jacob. Hello, it's Jacob. Um, let's see what's up today. This is gonna be the most authentic video on my channel. Watch. Okay, uh, um, you guys are just gonna have to get used to this. I'm gonna keep looking back though because first of all, I think there's a killer in my basement. Second of all, there's a kidnapper in my basement. Two scary things. I'm a scared ass human. Okay, um. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's how paranoid I am. It's probably a problem, but I don't want to do something about it. I just want to let my body do its thing. So, it's a Sunday. You know, the day that you go to church. You nail down, do the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Catholic Church. You know how it goes. Cheers to that. It's 327. I went to Dunkin' Donuts because <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts is the cheapest place out there. A Starbucks lounge. Five dollars and it's smaller than this. But a Dunkin' Donuts lounge is a dollar. I don't know how they do it. It tastes kind of like cigarettes, but I kind of like the taste of cigarettes. I've never smoked a cigarette, surprisingly, since I seem like such a body. I seem like such a bad kid, so you guys probably think I smoke the gases. Isn't that what, like, rappers say? Like, you're smoking gas. That sounds scary to me. I don't ever want to be smoking gas. I just picture people with goggles on coming out of this underground tunnel being like, Bro, I just smoked a couple of gases. Like, gas is meant for the vehicle. Unless you're Elon Tesla Musk. So, um, my dog's barking. I'm not making this up. You guys just have to believe me on this one. Speaking about the cigarette thing, there was this girl that everyone said, oh my gosh, she smells like cigarettes. It's so gross. But I low-key liked how she smelled. I low-key wanted to sniff her up because for some reason it smells good. I don't know why. Stop asking questions. Um, yeah, so I was driving to Dunkin' Donuts, and the guy that was walking was, like, so nice, and it was kind of like, so when you're, when someone's so nice, you get kind of scared, because you don't know. <laughs> Maybe this is just me, but I got scared, because when I was drinking, I was like, is there saliva in this? I had to make sure there wasn't, like, okay, so you know when you're drinking something, and you, like, put your tongue on the drink, and you can tell if there's saliva in it, because, like, Saliva, like, doesn't break up out. Um, maybe you guys aren't as paranoid as me. I don't know. But I do that, and I did that, and I think it felt like there was saliva in it. But I probably just was making it up. He was just super nice, and it scared me. There was a couple levels of niceness. So the first level was just like, hey, what's up, dude? Second level was like, oh my gosh, love your sweater. Third level is when it gets creepy. They're, like, smiling. Third level is basically me. If you ever meet me in real life, I'm gonna be like smiling, being like, oh my gosh, dude, lady, you look cute. That's me. But like, it's creepy when I see other people do it. Like, you have to be kind of mean. You can't only be nice. Oh, so it just turns into, it just goes into a ball of niceness and it's like, what are you trying to do to me, so? Okay, on to the next thing. So when I was driving, I listened to Lana Del Rey. And I don't like admit... <laughs> I don't like admitting that I listened to Lana Del Rey because I think that people are gonna think that I'm depressed. Because her music does have a sad vibe, but I just like listening to it, guys. Ladies out there, I just like listening to it. For some reason, I have a fail. That people think that the way that pe that people think that I'm depressed and it like scales me because I don't want people to think that. <laughs> I feel like if you listen to Lana Del Rey, people are like, okay, you're a depressed bitch. You're you're the normal teen who hates their life. Like I feel like that's like the thing nowadays. Like I'm a teen who hates my life. But I'm not one of those teens. I just like listening to Lana Del Rey. But yeah, because like someone <laughs> <laughs> she has a song called Summertime Sadness. Like, that's like, 
the definition of like sad, you know? But I just like listening to it. I just like like the vibe. It's just like, ooh. Yes, I listen to Lana Del Rey. And then all of her songs just like remind, like whenever I'm listening to her music, I just feel like I'm just like, I, I just feel like I know, like I'm there physically and mentally. After Lana Del Rey, since I go to Dunkin Donuts, a oh, I need to change the subject real quick. After I go to Dunkin Donuts, I get, <laughs> same thing happens every single time. I don't go to Dunkin Donuts that much, by the way. This is just like a once a week thing. Calm down, it's not an addiction. I get home, rush to the bathroom, stay in there for a solid five minutes, and either it's a solid or a juicy. If it's a juicy, you might have to put, you, it might, yeah, so if it's a juicy one, it gets bad. If it's a solid one, that inside, then it's good. It's all good in the hood. But I go poop at the house because I'm not gonna go poop anywhere else. But while I was driving home, I needed to go pee so bad. I was like, oh my gosh. You know that feeling when you're like, ow my, um, sucks organs gonna break apart and like burst? Because like, I don't know, I like, I'd like to keep my sucks organs, you know? So like, I went to a gas station. I was scared walking into the gas station because last night I heard that Sex trafficking is like the number one thing in the state that I live. So I just was like scaled walking in. And I guess that like you can touch something and then you get drugged. I was scaled. When I was in the bathroom, I was like looking around, looking at the ceiling, make sure there wasn't any cameras. Because the gas station that I was in was sketchy. It was just one of, it was a sketchy gas station. What else can I say? I didn't wash my hands in the bathroom. I'll just admit it. To be honest, I don't even wash my hands that much. Uh, I'm still deciding if I'm gonna like keep it. I don't know. Cause that's kind of gross if I say that. Is this video too authentic? I remember a couple a couple years ago or so, I had this joke that I was gonna make a second channel called Jacob Crook Ra. <laughs> that sounds like some gross fetish website, but it's not. Well, like, it's not a thing, but if it was a thing, it was just gonna be videos like this where it's literally unedited, raw as the meat that you eat at supper, you know? You know when you, like, go to the store and you see raw meat and you're just like, ew. That's what I wanted it to be like. Raw meat's disgusting. Like, why do we eat it? I don't know why I eat it. I wish I had an answer. Like, all the vegans watching this are like, become a vegan like me. For some reason, I don't even like meat that much, but I still eat it. I should stop talking about this before I get slammed against the ground. Mm. Whenever I'm eating ice, someone always tells me what whoever it is. They, they, they go up to me and they say, you know that ruins your teeth. I don't care if it ruins my teeth. Just stop, JK, I do like having good teeth, but I should stop hating on people. As you can tell by the title of this video, you probably are like, when are you gonna mention the title? So, the reason why I got inspired to make this video because I was looking in my real view mail when I was driving. Wait, is that the word I'm talking? The one that you can see what's behind you. That thing. I was looking out of the view, we, we, real view mail. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have a beard. I have a reason for this. I'm not, what, my kale keep, go back. Okay, okay. Um, But I have a reason behind this ca catastrophe. I have a beard because a couple days ago, I noticed that I had bumps on my chin and I was like, what? Am I literally this overweight that this chair goes down by itself? I had razor born and I was like, how do I make this go away? And it said to make it go away, you have to not shave for a couple of days. And I was like, I'm down for this mess. That's gonna happen. I haven't shaved for a couple of days. The razor bone is gone. It doesn't itch. It doesn't prickle. Pretty cool. You guys need to see a close up of my beard. Um, yeah. This stubbly stuff is this. Thumbnail. Okay, I need to make sure you can see the hair. I'm gonna take my glasses off so it looks even more intense. Hair. 
hell. And I know that you guys are wondering, why are you growing hair? Where are you growing the hair? I'm not gonna answer those questions. Is this video just me summarizing what happened while I was driving? Yeah, th that's what this is. So, I was <laughs> I think I'm a bad driver. Yeah, I am a bad driver. I always daydream. <laughs> and one, when I was on the street, there was this Mitsubishi? There were like the three triangles one. It was behind me. And then I just was like bopping to Katy Perry last Friday night. Made me feel like an angsty teenager. But then I realized that the car ahead of me was stopping. So I literally pressed on the brake like this. And I was so scared that the girl behind me was going to hit me. So scary. But, oh my god. The girl behind me looked like Paris Hilton in 2008. Remember when she used to wear those low rise jeans that you could see like a little bit of a cooch that was like... Okay, she wore low-rise jeans that were kind of revealing. I loved it. People don't wear those nowadays. It needs to become a thing. Low-rise jeans. <laughs> um, it looked like Paris Hilton, and I thought she was going to be mad at me for stopping so fast, but she wasn't. Paris Hilton is a nice gal. She's a nice gal. I also don't know what's happening with my hair. It just is like a thing. And I love it. Okay, back to the video. I'm home now, safe and sound. Drank my Dunkin' Donuts like it was water. I finished it in the first minute of getting it. Now I'm just sipping nothing. Dunkin' Donuts, I'm not gonna say anything bad or mean about you. Wait, I already ruined that. At the beginning, I already said something bad about Dunkin' Donuts. But just erase that from your mind, Dunkin' Donuts owner. If you want me to sponsor you, I will. Um, my business email is in the link below, and... It's a wonderful company. You guys stand for the right things. <laughs> yeah. What else do I say? Oh, I have one more topic in this video that I wanted to mention. Yesterday, I tweeted, I love how Dobbs taste. Because I thought it was funny, like, oh my god. Okay, I swear I saw someone, but yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, you're eating a dab, the dance move, you know, like this, dab on them haters. I thought it was funny how you were eating the dance move, but then I found out that dabs is a type of drug. It's like THC concentrated, and then I was so scared that I was like trending, but then I realized that like no one follows my Twitter, so like no one cared. No one thought I was on drugs. Someone did reply something about drugs. So I deleted the tweet because I didn't want people to think that I was on drugs. But I am still kind of mad that no one made like a meme. You know those one memes where it's like, you feel old yet? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I thought someone would be like, do you, do you remember the guy that did DIYs when he was 12? He's on drugs now. He's doing the dab. I thought that was gonna happen and it was gonna go like viral and I would be on Ellen and I would become friends with the Cash Me Outside girl, but it didn't happen, sadly. I'm not friends with the Cash Me Outside girl yet. White J's, white Porsche, white horse. <laughs> I'll, one more thing. I love paparazzi video. I love it. I stand paparazzi videos. If you stand me, put it in the comments because I want to know if anyone stands me. I love stands. Stand. I think that's all. I don't have anything else crazy happening in my life. Yeah, something big is going to happen in the future. Stay tuned. I don't know what it is, but it's going to happen, guys. That's my day so far in a nutshell. I hope you guys loved it. I want to know if you guys want more videos like this. I actually am really curious. I want to know if you guys like me like this and my authentic self. Or if you guys like the more edited fake me videos. Because I like doing those too. Here's today's video shout out. Thanks for retweeting my tweet. Love it. If you want to be next video shout out, it'll be all over my Twitter. And with that, goodbye Z's. Bye.